First quarter action here in the Tournament of Champions final at Kane University. And Bill Barton breaks through here. Watch Keegan Kahn wind up and he scores. And the Green Wave has a 1-0 lead over Pingree a minute plus into the game. Pingree knocks it up here on the nice turnaround shot from Austin Chang. And we are tied at one midway through the first quarter. And the Green Wave take a 2-1 lead after one quarter. Watch Keegan Kahn beat Sam Johnson for the goal. And Bill Barton's up by one after 12 minutes of play. Second quarter action we go and watch Michael Rudder with the inside roll and the goal and it's 3-1 Del Barton at the 8.09 mark of the second period. Then it's Keegan Kahn with his second goal here. Watch him get his hands free and let it rip to push Del Barton's lead to 3-5-2 midway through the quarter and the Green Wave would hold a 6-3 lead at the half. Third quarter we go and off the opening faceoff. Watch Del Barton get it back to Troy Higgins who won the faceoff and he scores and Bill Barton has a 7-3 lead just 30 seconds into the period. And Keegan Kong gets the hat trick here off the look from James Santoro and Del Barton pushes his lead to 5, 8-3 after three, three quarters of play. All right, fourth quarter we go and Del Barton starts off fast. Watch Jack Chatwin dump it off to Colin Crowley for the goal and it's a six goal game, 9-3 early in the quarter. Then on the ensuing faceoff, it's one of the top defenders in the state, Jack Kilty with the rip and it's 10-3, less than 30 seconds later. He is something special, folks. Okay, now watch this terrific ball movement off the faceoff. Watch Michael Rudder feed Keegan Kahn for another goal, and the green wave blitz continues as it's now 11-3. Bill Barton wins another faceoff here and scores its fourth goal in the first two minutes of the quarter as Rory Manigan makes a nice pass to Michael Rudder as Bill Barton will cruise to a 13-4 victory to lay claim as the top team in the state. Today's the day that you dream about uh, for basically your whole life. Growing up as a kid, you want to play in the TOC final, and uh, especially you want to win. So this is something we've been waiting for, not just for this season, but, but for our whole life. That was a great game. Pingree was a great team. We just came out fast, got their first early goal, and we were rolling from there on. This was just a cap to uh, an extraordinary season, an extraordinary group of kids. Um, you know, when you talk about team, you know, from player number one to player number 42, everyone was on board and gave gave their all for the, the success of the program and uh, I couldn't be more more proud. And you guys put up 13 goals. Uh, you had three of them today. Talk about this team's offense. You guys are just from the get-go. Yeah, Coach Fleischman does a nice job of drawing up plays uh, for each specific defense. So uh, coming in the game, we were well prepared to play against Pingree and uh, we executed out there very well. We knew our offense was a bit underrated all year and we were more than capable of scoring goals and we just came out, we fired, we scored a lot of goals today. What's it been like playing for this Del Barton team, the tradition being one of the best teams synonymously throughout the state of New Jersey, in, year in, year out? Uh, it's awesome to play for Del Barton because uh, they're such a good support network. Um, you know, it's such a great community. We had a bunch of kids out here at the game and then the coaches, they all, they love the players so much. They do so much for us. So I couldn't ask for more out of a high school lacrosse experience. Playing for Del Barton is certainly a challenge. Every day in practice, we aim to get better. We work hard, work harder than a lot of other schools and it shows out here and we were able to take the TOC back.